Now suppose that the customer has added this item inside their, their cart and they want to check out. And in order to check out, we need to get the data or the item or, or a bunch of items that they, had, they have added inside their cart into our uh, orders database so that we uh, get notified about what they want in order to start shipping the order uh, to their location or to their home. Therefore, we need to add a functionality here uh, upon clicking on this button so that we add data, we add this data inside the cart, inside our orders database, and start shipping the item to the uh, user. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm gonna open our project and create two databases. The first one is called orders, and the second one is called order items. And why is that? Because the orders database is going to, or orders table, so to speak, is going to have the order ID and um, the total uh, price or total, total um, dollars that they are going to pay, as well as the date in which they are going to, um, in, uh, the date in which they have paid or they have placed the order, and also the delivery date, the date, the date on which they have um, uh, received their package, as well as the status where it says, for example, on hold or um, process, uh, or the or the uh, the the product is being shipped, or the the product has been delivered. So, in order to do that uh, first uh, table, we need to type this command: php artisan make migration, and then order or orders, create orders, create underscore orders, and then double hyphen signs, and then create equals to orders, right? Orders. And uh, we did that before, we talked about the migration many times before in this course. And hit enter, and once you hit enter, it's going to create this file which is going to create the orders database. And as I tell you, it, uh, it should have the order ID, which is implemented each time we place an order, and the date on which the order has been placed, and the status, of course, uh, the status of the order, and then the deal date, which is the delivery date, and then the price of that order. And the second thing is the order items database, or table. So you need just to replace this uh, uh, with the create orders or create order underscore items, which is the other database, and then um, create equals to order underscore items. And this table actually is going to have details about each order. So for example, a user has ordered uh, shoes and um, t-shirt and a hat. So their cart has three items, right? And these three items have an order ID, only one order ID, right? But the data, the, the, um, the data about these three items should be stored in, inside our order items uh, table, not inside orders. So the order or the orders database is, is going only to have the order ID for the cart itself, but details about that cart is going to be stored inside our order items. So here inside our order items, once I hit enter, it's going to create this file, and I'm going to name this this table order items, and it's going to have ID, which is going to be incremented each time we create a record, and then item ID, for example, the shoe, uh, the the uh, the, the shoe, the t-shirt, the hat, each one is going to have item ID, but all of them are going to have the same order ID because person A, for example, has ordered th uh, these three items. So all of them are going to have the order ID. And by the way, the order ID in this case is going to, um, is the, the order ID in this case is named foreign key because each time we want details about an order, we make a query to this database using the order ID, which is going to get all of the data inside 
the order ID. And then the item uh, name, for example, uh, shirt or, uh, or hat or shoe. And then the item uh, price, each price, price of each item uh, of these items. Right, and once you create these two files, what you need, what you need to do is to type PHP artisan and then my migrate, right? Migrate, and hit enter, and it's gonna create these two tables. And now, if we get to our um, PHP my admin and open our database, we should have uh, these tables. And as you can see, we have the orders table, which has if I click on the structure. As you can see, it has the order ID, the date, the status, the uh, deal date or delivery date, the price, and also the order items. If I click on the structure, as you can see, it has the ID, the item ID, the order ID, the item name, as well as the item price. And again, the order ID is the foreign key because the order ID could be repeated. For example, the person who has ordered the shoe as well as the hat and the t-shirt, all of them are going to have the order, the same order ID, but the, but the item ID is gonna be different for each item. So if we want to get details about a specific order, we need to get to, the, to this database, the order items database, and make a query to this database with the, or, uh, or with this table with the order ID to get all of the um, items that that are related to a specific order and and that is going to make sense when we um later when we finish this tutorial i know it's a little bit confusing right now now we need to add a functionality for that for this button so that when the user clicks on checkout it's going to get the data inside this cart and add it to our uh, order uh, inside our orders as well as the order items database and notify us that a specific user has uh, orders from our store. So in order to do so, we need to open our project and then inside our cart products.blade.php, what we need to do is to get to the checkout button, which is this one, and we create a route. And uh, I created that before which is called create order. You need to add this route so that once uh, this button is clicked, it's gonna get to the create order URL and, get, and implement the function associated with it. This is the first step. The second step is that we need to get to the web.php and create that URL. And as you can see, I created that before as well. And uh, we, it's uh, self-explanatory because we did that a lot in this course. And as you can see, the URL is going to be product uh, slash create order uh, slash, and then it's going to use the products controller and the function. I'm going to give it a name of create order and the URL name is create order and make sure that the spelling of this URL here, create order matches the one that you have uh, added inside the href for the button. And this is the second step. And the third step is creating the create order function. So you need to get to the products controller.php and create that, that function. And I created that function as well. And I'm going to walk you through it. And this function is very, very important because it's going to handle everything, almost everything. So inside this function, I'm going to divide, it, divide this function into three sections. The first one is getting the data from the cart. The second one is placing the data or storing the, the order uh, inside the orders database. The third part is placing the items inside the cart, each item inside the order items database. And the, the, last, the last part is deleting everything from the cart and redirecting the user with a successful uh, message. So the f first of all, we need to get the, uh, the card. And to get the card, we use the session um, class and then use the get function, and we get the card uh, session. And we store it inside a card variable, and then we need to make sure that the card is not empty so that the user doesn't pay for nothing. 
uh, if the cart is empty. So if the cart is not empty, I'm gonna just creating a date um, a date uh, variable, and it's gonna be year, month, day, and then hour, uh, minute, and second. And here I'm gonna create an array, and this array is going to contain the data that we want to store inside our, our orders database. So the data is the status and the status the initial value is going to be on hold because the user has just placed the order and we also need the date and the date is going to be this moment the date variable that i just created and then the del date the delivery date is going to have also the uh the the current date and you can deliver this you can um, you can change this later when you, when the item or the the products have been delivered to the user and finally the price and to get the price we use the cart and then uh, we call the total price from that uh, cart object and it's going to get us the total price for the order and we store it inside the price and then we need to get we need to uh, move this array inside our orders database and to do so we use the database a class and then we call the table and we specify the table that we want to use which is the orders and then we call the insert function and we pass the new order array and now we get we need to get the last inserted id and why do we know why do we need to get the last inserted id because we want to get the order id why because we want to store it for each item inside the cart so here I'm going to create a loop, which is for each loop, and we created this before inside the cart products. We, when we created the cart, when we created the cart products that play that PHP, in order to display all data um, inside the cart, we used this um, this loop, as you can see here, um, for each cart items as um, items as item, and then for each item we got the name, the description, the, ID, the price and we displayed them here as you can see and we are going to do the same we are going to get item by item and we are going to store them inside our order items table and as you can see here um, i created the for each loop again and used the cart and got the items um, from from the cart object and then as cart item for each cart item i got the id the name the price and we got this free and i created a new array as you can see and i placed the item id and then the order id which which is going to be the order id of the order that we have placed inside our orders database or orders table and then the item name the item price and again we use the database uh, table function and we use the we specify the order items database and then we insert this new items um, new items in cart order uh, array to this order items and it's going to be repeated for each item inside uh, our cart and finally which is the uh, most important thing which is removing data removing items from cart and why is that because if we don't the user might click again and order the same products again and pay again and we don't obviously we don't want uh, that to happen once the user um, has ordered and the place and the order has been placed successfully and the user has paid we need to remove the cart and make it empty so that the user doesn't pay again and to do so we use the forget function and we specify the session that we want to remove uh, its data which is the cart and then we use the flush and finally we redirect the user to the all products view and in case of error in case the 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 cart is empty we just redirect the user to the all products view and here i used a function called with success which is going to display a message that the order has been placed and they have successfully um and the order has been successfully placed and i i typed here thanks for choosing us you can type anything you can type the order has been placed please uh, um 
wait until you get it or thanks for choosing us or whatever you want. And in order to display this message, I created just um, an alert.blade.php file and I used if and then session and then I named the session success and I placed a, a div tag and I give it a class of alert class which is a class provided by bootstrap and then I just typed um, session success which is going to display the text that we have placed here so whatever text we place here is going to be displayed inside this dev tag and obviously we need to import this alert.blade inside our all product.blade and to do so I just use include which we talked about before in this course and uh, I, I created just a div here again and I give it a container class and then just use include and the name of the view which is alert which is going to import everything and display it inside this div of course with the success message now let's test everything if I get to our project to our browser and then let's get to the main page as you can see let's add some products we already added this one I think let's add another product for example this product I'm going to add it add to cart and uh, if I click on cart I, I should be able to see all the, the products inside our cart as you can see this shirt has an ID of 3 and the, these sunglasses have the ID of 17 and the price is 60 and 23 and the total is 83 and just keep in mind uh, these um, numbers so that we are gonna check them inside our database let's now click on check out and once that check out button is clicked the data is going to be added to our both the orders as well as the order items databases or tables and as you can see here it says thanks for choosing us this is the message the success message that we have placed so that it indicates and tells the user that the order has been placed and now if I click again on the cart the cart is going to be empty because the order has been placed we don't want the user to use it twice and the the message has gone because this message is only one time once the user is once the the order has been placed it's going to be displayed and then if you refresh the page it's it's going to be disappeared now let's get to our a PHP my admin and check the data and if I open our uh, orders database first there you go this is the order number three I, I did this these orders before and the price is 83 that is right remember the, this number and the status is on hold you can change it anytime once the products have been delivered you can change it and the Dell delivery time you can change it as well and the order ID here and now the order items as you can see the order ID should be three right because we have the shirt as well as the sunglasses and the shirt price is 60 and the sunglasses um, price is 23 and that is true but the order ID is is is, um, is three so whenever we want more details about a specific order say for example the order number number three here we need to get to the order items and make a query to the order ID and we should get uh, the more details about a specific order and as you can see for order number three we have item number three and item number 17 and this is how we can place orders and now we can start shipping the order to the user and once we start shipping the order we can place this we can change this status from on haul to shipped or delivered